What's up guys, it's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington and welcome to another installment of the 2020 Living the Van Life Sprinter Van build right here in the shop. Today we're going to jump into installing some ceiling fans. Welcome aboard the adventure. We're going to get to cutting some holes in the ceiling for some ceiling ventilation. Now here inside the Sprinter Van I'm going to go ahead and install a fan here over the bed area. That'll be placed right here. But in my build, I'm actually going to install two ceiling fans. So I'm gonna install a second one here over the living space area. And essentially with two fans, I can have the options of, let's say, reversing the direction of one. So I've got one fan pulling in fresh air. I've got one fan pulling out inside air so you can get a nice circulation going. But nonetheless, having more options with ceiling fans is a good thing, especially in a van. With that being said, it's time to start cutting some holes in the ceiling. I've taped off the whole complete underside of where each hole will be cut out for the ceiling fans. My whole goal here is that every metal shaving that comes off of that saw blade falls down into this and I can contain it, remove it safely and get it into the garbage can. So I actually got these rings off of eBay from a company that sells them online. And these are all machined to fit specifically these spots here on the sprinter vans. Essentially this does two things. It gives the fan a nice flat surface to mount to and not be affected by this lip here. But also what it does, because these are fit to the roof ceiling specifically here, that gives us the exact spot where we need to trace and then cut. These things are made specifically for your vehicle and there's only one spot they can go. So it really takes a lot of the guesswork out and even the measuring. So. These things are definitely handy in making life easier when it comes to cutting these holes. And that right there is exactly where we need to cut this part out. I'd highly recommend getting this because this really eliminates any of the guesswork or even the measuring work of where you're gonna place the fans. So here on the roof of my van, I'm also going to be installing solar panels, which will be mounted on top of a roof rack up here. Also up here, there will be a series of off-road lights out the front and off the side. So we're gonna be needing to run some wires up here to the top. So while I'm up here cutting holes for the roof fence, I'm also going to install this little guy, which, well, we are calling these igloos because it's kind of shaped like an igloo. But what these are designed to do is when you run wires up through your roof, you need a way to seal that off and be nice and waterproof and weatherproof. And that's where these guys come into play. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill two holes up through the ceiling. We're gonna glue this down over the top of that, seal it all off. And then when we install wires, these connections right here seal up around the wires and make a very nice, tight, waterproof and weatherproof seal.
before I install this to the roof of the van, I'm gonna take some 3M 5200 sealant adhesive, and I'm gonna go ahead and run a bead of that around here, and then I'm gonna set this down here, and then go ahead and screw that. As you can see, I did go ahead and pre-drill my holes where the screws are gonna go. makes cleanup such a breeze and here is our hole here in the back of the van and of course we got the one up here towards the front as well so I wanted to take just a quick break from this fan install process and talk about the sponsor of today's video now morning brew is a daily newsletter Monday through Saturday that shows up directly to your email inbox now the cool thing about Morning Brew is the fact that it's easy to sign up for, but the most important thing is that it's actually free. Morning Brew gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. Traditional news is dry, it's dense, it's boring. Whereas on the other hand, Morning Brew is witty, it's relevant, and it's informative. One of the things that I enjoy on my daily Morning Brew read is learning about some of the random facts about various different businesses. They talk about individuals who have perhaps taken a chance and tried something different, started a business, true entrepreneurialism, and I enjoy reading the inspiring stories about that because it makes me want to get out there and try even harder to make myself successful. There's no reason not to sign up for Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. Like I said, it's completely free and it takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Click this link in the description below this video and subscribe to Morning Brew today. With that being said, let's jump back up on the van and get back into this ceiling fan installation. Okay, so I've got the adapter ring glued into place, everything sealed on. It's had a few hours to dry. I've gone ahead and I've taken the Max Air flange ring and I've covered it in butyl tape around the outside as you can see here. Now as one extra line of protection, I'm going the extra mile to make sure things are done right, I've cut some aluminum strips because this flange is plastic and just being screwed in by individual screws, a little bit concerned that that's going to eventually crack around those screw holes. So I've gone ahead and made these aluminum strips that'll screw on here and help distribute the load of the screws across that plastic. And this is going to just sit right down on top of there. Now this is the inside part of the adapter basically what from the inside underneath is going to allow the screws to grab a hold of and create the clamping effect I'm using these clamps just to make sure that this piece underneath is up flush against the top of the ceiling inside the van. That way when I screw in, everything comes together nicely.
Okay, so I've got everything tightened down here. You can see where I've got those aluminum strips. That's really just to distribute the load of the screws out across all of this plastic flange here because this thing's gonna be buffeting in the wind. There's a lot of force against this, so I just wanted to take an extra measure and put this aluminum stripping all the way around. From here, I've got some lap sealant that I'm going to lay down over this. This is self-leveling lap sealant. So I'm just gonna put it across here and let it ooze and goose all over this seam here and just give it a nice tight seal. One extra layer of being completely waterproof and weatherproof. So I've got the lap sealant all applied here on the ceiling fixture. Now I've got the max air fan ready to drop into place. We'll put four screws in and this project will be done. Mm -hmm. 